Blog Talk Radio. Hello and good evening. My name is Lori Smith and I am glad to be here. This is the whole issue. I'm, uh, I've am i been doing Blog Talk Radio for quite a few years now. As, uh, if you look through my, my shows there, I've got quite a few shows, about a thousand shows over a whole period of quite a, quite a few years now. And uh, I'm glad to be here. I haven't done a show for a while here. I've been doing shows on Spreaker and doing other things, videos and whatnot. And um, we have a special guest here tonight with us, uh, Barbara Ochoa, and um, she's the executive director for helpforguys.org. And we have a special show. Uh, it's for Male Abuse Awareness Week, MA, M-A-A-W, Male Abuse Awareness Week. And that's happening right now, this week. And uh, this is such an important topic. And I think that it's so tragic, you know, so many people's lives are affected by abuse. I'll just tell you a little bit about myself, not too much, because we want to talk to Barbara. And because <laughs> she's, she's got the info here for today. But um, I've been, I'm a survivor and of child abuse um, in, in all its terrible forms. And I speak publicly about my own story as well as just being a voice for other survivors as well. And I'm an author and I just recently started, uh, co-founded a not-for-profit with Donna Shear and Lee Roberts um, called... Uh, Advocates United for Humanity, and we just started doing that. That's recent. Um, I'm just uh, just a regular person who just believes how it's very important to speak out about these issues. You know, silence is is a huge problem. It always has been a problem. Silence, the silence that surrounds abuse, is what keeps it uh, festering and keeps it going. You know, we all need to be talking about this in order to find the answers, in order to get help for people. And so, you know, quite a few years now ago, probably 2009. I started getting involved and um, just doing what I could, you know, to, to join other people who were speaking out and, you know, raising their voices, shouting out, you know, this has to change. You know, something has to change. We can't let this continue on. As a survivor, I know myself how hard it is for these for these children out here and for anyone who's suffering, in, you know, in abuse, you know, domestic violence, we're talking sexual assault, just any type of abuse, you know, human rights are a huge important issue for me. And so this show, you know, of course, this is so important. We're talking about male abuse here tonight. Barbara Ochoa, she'll have lots of great information for us. And um, I'll bring her on here in a second. I just want to just sort of open the show just talking a little bit about Barbara Ochoa. She's, uh, uh, a.k.a. she's kind of known as Petra Luna. And she's an artist, musician, singer, and she's not in the music industry anymore, but she did some great work, and I love her work. And um, she's done some wonderful things, you know, to spread, you know, her, to, to share her voice, you know, and, and in, a, in a medium that was that worked for her. And I think it was incredible and just wonderful work. And, um, you know, she's done a lot to try to help male abuse survivors and male abuse victims to change this for them. And so, you know... This is going to be wonderful to talk to her about this because she has the info and she knows where you know more about it than I certainly do, and especially on the on the male abuse side. I, I see the articles out there, and you know the fact that very little is talked about it. It's such a huge issue. So we're going to bring Barbara on, and just bear with me here for a second. Hi, is this Barbara? Yes, this is she. Hello, hi Barbara. <laughs> How are you? Well, hi. It's uh, it's nice to finally talk to you. I've always seen your face around, but I've never yeah. uh, I've never had the opportunity to talk to you. So it's great to, to talk actually to you. chat. <laughs> it is. It's nice to have you yeah. here. I'm really glad that we could do this show. And I know, like I've been watching your work for quite a few years, and and since I when you know when I sort of discovered what you're doing, and it's um it's great. I'm just I'm so thankful that you're doing the show here tonight. This is such a huge important topic, and it's it's Male Abuse Awareness Week, and so. You know, this is perfect timing to to sort of discuss these issues and spread the word and get as much information out to people as we possibly can. And um, you know, this it's it's a huge issue. I was on your website. It's helpforguys.org. It's help just H E L P the number four guys G U Y S dot org. For anybody who's listening, you can go there and get some great information there. And I just thought. You know, you could just sort of introduce yourself, Barbara, and tell tell us a little bit about you know your involvement and 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 what you do and and you know sort of the work that you have put into into this work that you're doing. Okay, well, um, pretty much, I full time. I am I am still in the music industry. I'm just not Petra Luna anymore. 
I oh, work okay. as a professional. <laughs> I, well, I do work as a professional musician. That's my career. <laughs> oh, I yeah. just don't oh, okay. jump around and I just don't jump around and make records anymore. But I'm still a musician, <laughs> and uh, you know, I've been I've had the nonprofit now since 2007. Now, I do remember you from back in the day. Yeah. It's been a while. I remember yeah. <laughs> you from a, a long time. So you finally got your own nonprofit going. We did, yeah, we did, and um, you know, we we had I did some work with other not for profits, and then just recently, just not not even maybe two months ago, um, Donna Shear contacted me to see if if well, he had always talked about doing something together anyway, and uh, she asked if I wanted to to start this um, this not for profit. So it it's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we lost we lost Barbara, and um, there she is. Okay, I'll bring her back on. Sorry, everybody. Hold on one second here. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so you fi- you finally got your own nonprofit going. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's it's good. It's it's good feeling. Absolutely. I hope we can do some, make a difference. Yeah. So I am. I'm really. I'm really happy to be here tonight. I'm happy to talk about male abuse. Um, I I find every year that uh. I think the topic is becoming more mainstream. We see more, you know, coverage on stories about it in the news. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of promising, a lot more advocates coming forward, a lot more guys coming forward talking about the subject. And, uh, you know, it's just the whole awareness campaign is to get people to talk about it. Talk about it on the air, yeah. talk about it on the blogs, talk about it on social media. Just, this is the week of the year we talk about male abuse. And I'm hope, and it seems like the whole abuse world kind of converges, you know, with all of us and kind of helps us out this first week in December, you know, because you got yeah. the child abuse month and you got the domestic violence month and you got, mm-hmm. you know, but uh, we need to we need to have that week, and I'm I'm glad that you know for you know this is our eighth year, so I'm glad that yeah. it, it keeps it keeps going. <laughs> yeah, and I would like it of- to continue. Yeah. me, you know, I want it to grow to its own, have its own life, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Just keep yeah. the momentum going. Yeah, no, this is great because, you know, um, the issue, especially for men, you know, um, you know, I mean, we know, I mean, abuse happens, it can happen to anyone. And it's it, it's not just children. I mean, we're you know, this is this could be domestic violence in the situation. This could be, uh, you know, just sexual assault, anything, right? And um, it was such a stigma, you know, for so many years, you know, for that that men were supposed to be tough, you know, and they and 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 they weren't supposed to to uh, I guess to be the needy type to need help. You know, it's always been sort of ingrained. I guess this, some you know, some cultures just ingrain that, you know, in, in men that, and they feel that if they reach out, you know, they, they're looked upon as, oh, I don't know, weak or, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's really unfortunate. I, I've looked into this a little bit. And even in my own area, I live in Calgary, Alberta, uh, in Canada here. And there was a, an article not too long ago, maybe, oh, I don't know, be at least a year now, that this gentleman had tried to start a, a shelter for, um, like survivors for victims of abuse for male victims and he couldn't get enough funding he couldn't get enough public support it was just not enough um, backing you know he didn't have enough backing so he couldn't he couldn't do it and he had to he had to close it down it was only open for a couple of days or a couple of months and then he he and he couldn't you know get any further help so he just had to shut it down and that's really unfortunate because that just tells you the need is there and there you know these men are are you know, they're really vulnerable, you know what I mean? And they need help, right? Um, so this is well, very I was important. Reading on, um, I was reading, uh, somebody put a post that Sweden opens the world's first rape center for male victims. So, but I'll tell you one thing. I, I mean, I understand the not getting funding and not getting support. I mean, it's so tough. It's so, mm-hmm. so incredibly tough. But you know, just because it's tough doesn't mean that we shouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't mean no, that it should should be done. And and, and people keep it tough because they don't want to talk about it. And you know, yeah. and I, I think that the ones that suffer are the guys. You know, they they um. And I, when you were talking about uh, you know how the you know society expects them to be this and that, and you know, it it seems like I've done a lot of you know. 
inner inner reflection, sort of, you know, trying to think about the cause and what's going on. And it seems to me that the biggest problem is in dealing with this and getting people to talk about it, getting them, getting men to talk about it, is they're just really, really involved with how they're viewed by other people. It, I mean, mm-hmm. the, the way that they are portrayed to other people. I mean, I'm more of an insulated person. Like, I... I I really don't care what people think of me. I do whatever the hell I want, but, you know, and I say what I want and I feel what I want, but with men, they, you know that. Yeah. Because you've, been, you've been around for a while, but um, with guys, it's it's so important that they're viewed. And weaknesses have to do, and, and I, they were, I, was, I was talking about this with another guy recently, is that weakness has to do with the pecking order in, in among guys. It's not really... How it's viewed by women, I think that they feel ultimately that women understand more and they're they're more forgiving. It's their it's their pecking order in terms of how they're and it's a survival thing with other men. This is something that me yeah. and you it's hard for us to get our head around, but that's what mm-hmm. seems to be and it, it, it's an enormous burden for guys to have to always keep up this you know this yeah if, sort if, of if a facade, of keep up the facade you know, and to hold it all in, and that's tough. That's very tough, and it, it, it's too bad. I mean, you, you think we live in a man's world that it wouldn't be that way, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's true. Yeah, it is. It's it's sort of, it is bizarre. I know, I, and I see a lot of, because, you know, we, what we do, I'm sure you see a lot of it too, but I see a lot of really negative comments because, of, you know, we're talking about, I mean, people who have been just, Abuse survivors, you know, men, women, it's a horrible situation, right? Um, and I, I see a lot of negative comments posted about, uh, in particular, about male abuse. And I'll, I'll see some comments, you know, people will make, you know, just on, on Facebook or wherever. And they'll be complaining and saying, you know, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's not the guys that are being abused, it's the women. And I'm always trying to direct it back to the women. And I'm like, look, look, people, the truth of it is that, there are men that are abused as well, and there are men who are being abused right now, and that and there are men who are being killed. I was actually looking on your website. There's some great information there, um, you know, de- looking at the actual statistics of just how many men are victims of domestic violence and how many men are victim of victims of, of uh, rape and sexual assault, and. You know, and you know, I mean, that's just let alone we're talking about adult men and leaving the the male children out of it. You know what I mean? This is a real problem, right? And it's not, you know, we can't excuse it away and say, oh well, you know, just because there we know there's cases of women. I grew up in, a, in an abusive home. My mother was abused. You know what I mean? I, I mean, we we know. I mean, so many of us know. You know, I mean, yeah. It, it's it's, but it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't well, happen to men. It's, and, you know, I mean, Susan, Susan, it wasn't it, Susan B. Anthony wanted people to start talking about voting and women's suffrage years and years and years and years ago. But women should have a vote. Women should have a vote. And everybody laughed at them. And it took her like 30 years. 30. It took, and she died. Mm-hmm. She didn't even get to see the fruits of her labor. She died before women ever got the vote. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. it's just like, you know, they don't, people don't want to think about it. They don't want to talk about it. I mean. But things but it, change with time, you know. You just got to give it a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, unfortunately, it, it takes uh, longer than it should. <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing. But because we're talking about people's lives here, and human, you know, we're talking about humans, human beings' lives, and this is this is why I guess there's always this um, this feeling of like we've got to get this out here. We've got to get this, you know, because people are people's lives are are, are at stake, you know, and it's. Yeah, it's it's just a horrible thing. I know I've seen, um, I've actually read plenty of articles dealing where with situations where men uh, had been in domestic violence situations and had been abused by their partner, whether it was their wife or their partner, it doesn't matter who it was. And when the police showed up, <laughs> the police actually made them feel that, you know, tried to kind of change it around to make them feel that, you know, it wasn't as bad as it seemed or maybe... Um, I don't know. There was all kinds of different things that they said that they would, that they kind of went through, these guys, you know, and they felt like they weren't believed when they actually told what had happened to them. Well, there needs to be, you know, police, the police need to have sensitivity training when it comes to 
You know, mm-hmm. there, you know, you you get sensitivity training for all kinds of things anymore. You know, there needs to be mm-hmm. some sort of sensitivity training. You know, yeah. for these 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 That's- you know police, but I mean, we can't even keep police from shooting you know unarmed people. So we got a long way to go with the cops. But I mean, <laughs> I I admire what they do. I yeah. have every respect for the police, but yeah. you know, it's a they're you know it's kind of a boys' club, you know, and it's kind of you know, I mean there are women in the police you know force, but you know they got that good old boy sort of mentality that's not going anywhere mm-hmm. soon. That's right. So yeah, no, it's it's just yeah, it is really something. And it's it's just discouraging, you know, because I, I'm sure as a, I mean, I we know how, I know how it is as a survivor, and I mean, we know what it's like to be, uh, you know, to to be suffering and to be, you know, not feeling you're like a person's able to speak out and get help, and that's why I mean I love what you're doing, and I think it's very important, and I hope that people will go to your website and anybody who's who listens to this show, you know and who's listening or who's listening right now, who's possibly experiencing abuse, you know, go, go, please go to the website, you know, and get some information and get some help, you know, and and speak to somebody, get some help, you know, do not allow yourself to be, to be victimized and to be in this situation. It's a, it's a sad situation. It really is. You know, people say, well, what is, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, even in my own family, um, you know, between my own parents and stuff, my mom was not just, it wasn't just my mother being abused. You know, my mom used to batter my dad as well. They were both battering each other. <laughs> and so, I mean, I witnessed that, that as well. And even in my um, oldest sister's marriage, she, she, because she was abused as a child, she at, at home with us, you know what I mean? Um, and then she got married and then she, she figured that she was just not going to be, she was not going to allow herself to be the victim. And so she became the abuser in her situation with her husband. Oh boy. And it can happen, you know, and people, you know, my brother in law, like we would we would tell him, Why well, don't stay with her, you know what I mean? Like if you're gonna don't take this, you know what I mean? Like I mean we we actually sided with him because we were like, There's no way a person should 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 take this from anybody, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, get out, you know. And he wouldn't. He wouldn't get out. And it's just Oh, it's such a it's a tragic situation for so many people. It's just the same as the situation with women not leaving, you know, because for whatever reason, women staying in an abusive relationship. Men will do the same thing, right? And not all, but some, right? And it, it's you know, it's just important for people to know, like, you know, you, there is help out there. You can get help, but you have to sometimes search and search and look for it. But keep looking and keep, you know, don't give up. Well, you but know? you have to also, you have to also. Admit to yourself. I mean, if, in terms of men, I mean, for the hardest part is for them to admit to themselves that they're a victim. I mm-hmm. mean, other people can look at them like you could look at your, you know, your brother-in-law or whatever and say, gosh, he's a victim. But until he understands that he's a victim or admits that he's a victim, you know, that's why that's why I think the website's effective because people can anonymous. I mean, guys can anonymously go over there. And, mm-hmm. and find out what is male abuse. I mean, mm-hmm. our biggest, you know, people are like, every time I say male abuse awareness, they're like, male abuse, what, you mean, you mean male abusing women? I said, no. You know, and then when I tell them that it's really about males that are being abused, that they, it's almost like they, they have to do a double take, like, wow. So, mm-hmm. you know, helperguys, org is there to educate guys so they can say, Okay, well, am I being abused? Now they can go to the website and they can look around and say, you know, because it explains what it is. You know, if, mm-hmm. if somebody's doing something to you that makes you, you know, uncomfortable or or or, or, be, or someone's belittling you. I mean, women, there's so much psychological abuse and, and, and so much, you know, just demasculizing and, you know, it, it, it's just it's just like tearing down a woman. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the same thing. They they tear mm-hmm. you down. They tear you down. They tear you down, and then. The poor guy yeah. is, dem- you know, demasculinized, and then they, 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 they don't even realize what's happening to him anymore. They just think it's so natural to be treated like crap, just like, you know, just like an abused child. They just don't know any better. Mm-hmm. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And it's, if that's if that's really all you've known, you know what I mean? And, you know, especially, you know, if, if a child's abused and then goes into another abusive relationship as an adult, and just becomes, you know, re-victimized, re-victimized. It's all they know, you know. 
And so it's uh, so Lori, tell me what um what what is your what is your new nonprofit about? Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, Advocates United for Humanity. Um, basically, we're just going to, we are, uh, it, our mission is basically dealing with child abuse, domestic violence, um, we, we may as well say male abuse. We're talking any abuse against anyone, including animals, and um, human rights abuses. So what we're, uh, like like Donna Shear, she's been very interested in, in advocating and, and speaking publicly about child abuse, and uh, actually all abuses, really, for um more years than I have, you know, for quite a few more years than I have. And Elizabeth Roberts as well, Lee, Lee Roberts, she's been involved for quite a few years in especially dealing with the missing and, uh, you know, sexual ex- sexual exploitation, um, child sex, uh, sex trade, whatnot, that kind of thing. So we've, what we want to do so is... is, it a, is are, are you doing awareness stuff or what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you wanting to do? It is. It's, it's awareness. And we, what we want to do is be able to travel and speak and really as many you know as much as possible and just get more and more uh awareness out there yeah so that that's what our hope is are you are you going to include are you going to include guys in your discussion well i should hope so because it's really about everybody we're trying it's it's mainly for all you know what i mean it's for all victims of abuse and so you know it's not just for just children or just domestic violence or just you know, one particular group of, of people who are be, who are being abused or who are being affected by abuse. It's really for speaking out against. It's for all humanity. You know, because we just feel like no one should be abused, and you know, no animal should be abused, no human should be abused. You know, so we we figure we we, we could kind of cover the topics there because we all have our sort of specialties. So. <laughs> So yeah, that's what our yeah. hope is. Is just to raise, raise more awareness and and just spread resources and um, mainly that's that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Well, good. I I, yeah. I really hope that you include men in your conversation. Now, this is a Canadian-based nonprofit, right, or is it American-based? Uh, no, it's it's American-based, and I'm just up in Canada, but they're, they're those the other ladies are down in the states. Yeah. So it's really well, mostly going to be the states. Yeah. But I'll do what I can up here. Okay. <laughs> I, the, I, there's not a whole lot of noise being made up here about any type of abuse. Canada is about I don't know how many years behind the states, and there's tons of resources, but they're all covert. So you have to go. If there's no, you know, stop child abuse signs. There's no, you know, domestic violence stuff. You know, where, you know, we have one. There's a there's a, a child abuse awareness week, right? Just like there's the you know, male abuse awareness week, and then there's child abuse awareness week down in the states. Canada has one day, mm-hmm. <laughs> one day. That's it, and it's not very publicized. Nobody really wants to talk about it. Nobody really wants to. It's very closed off up here. So I have a hard time even getting to speak with other advocates up here, you know, because wow. it's very. Yeah, it's a little bizarre. It's a little strange because I've contacted quite a few people up here, and they. They kind of snub me off like, oh, we don't care about what you have to say. Go away. You're bothering us. So it's it's unfortunate. There's not a whole lot of uh, – it doesn't seem to me there's a whole lot being done up here. It doesn't even and, look like you've uh, much less cracked the shell on even women or children, much less men. No. No. That's, well, that's <laughs> wow. just it. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's tons and tons of resources for people who have been abused, but there's no prevention stuff going on. Once a year, there's a – a, some sort of a conference that they do in Toronto in, uh, in like a, I think it's in the summertime and they get together and they talk mm-hmm. about child abuse prevention once a year and that's kind of it you never hear anything else it's and so yeah they're picking up the pieces after people have been abused there's lots and lots of domestic violence shelters which are full year round <laughs> but there's no there's no real talk about hey let's prevent this let's stop this from happening do they do they, they accept you know? men do they accept do they accept men or is it, is it only for women you know what? I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, I know that article that I read uh, not too long ago was just a, he was a, he was a gentleman who wanted to start one that was strictly for men. So there may be some that actually are co you know co kind of together sort of thing. Co co um, Yeah, for both men and women. But I I'm not sure. I'd have to check into it. And um, but I know that that was kind of heartbreaking because the guy was pretty devastated because he just couldn't get the public behind him. For the male abuse, uh, you, know, honey, that, you know, I I understand his pain. I can't mm-hmm. half, most of the time. I can't get the public behind me either. <laughs> so yeah. you know, yeah. but it's it's a message I think that 
should be put out there. And what's mm-hmm. important to me is that it is carried on by other organizations and other people and other advocates, you yeah, know. And true. I wanted to, I wanted to start having a life beyond me. That's what mm-hmm. I wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Just so to keep, I, but it you've known about Mel Youth Awareness Week for a while, haven't you? Actually, I know I knew about the move, like what you were doing, but I didn't know there was an actual. I, I think I knew about the week, and then sort of didn't think about it. You know what I mean? Um, it's it's. But you knew it was there. Yeah, a while back. Yeah, a few years ago, I think I saw something about it. And so, but I, I thought it was just kind of a one-time thing, you know what I mean? Um, which is sad because I didn't really check into it, obviously, because I knew I knew well, I knew what you were doing and I knew it was there, and so I didn't realize it was something that was happening every single year, you know? And that it's so this is great, and I'll be promoting it, you know what I mean? Because um, it's important, absolutely it is. Um, we're going to put this on our website as well. We'll put this show on our website if you don't mind, and. Um, yeah, please. Because please. you know, just share. Yeah, like if anybody else wants to share this this uh, information, just share the show. You know, um, because the more well, people, have, since, you know. since, good. Well, since we have just a few more minutes, you know, I want I want guys to know that from all over the world, you know, you can go there. You can find there's resources listed in the United States, and then there's resources listed in Canada and internationally mm-hmm. for men. Um, yep. I think what's really useful on the site is if you go to the communities and you talk to other males who are advocates, they seem online to have very strong virtual sort of relationships where they kind of Mm -hmm. uh, help each other and talk to each other and give each other. That seems to be a very effective aspect of it. They can go there and do research. They can research what male abuse awareness, what male abuse is, they can learn about, you know, the different types of abuse, uh, you know, whether it's domestic violence, emotional abuse, you know, mm-hmm. whether, you know, you're talking incest, covert incest. I mean, covert incest is pretty big with guys and people don't talk about it, you know. So mm-hmm. that's right. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that they can learn if they just, just stop by help for guys. And just, you know, I just want the guys to know that you just talk about it. I mean, it's. You know, even if you just talk about it with somebody confidentially, or, but I mean, our job is to get men to want to get into therapy. That's our main goal is to talk, get them to where the, it's socially acceptable enough to where they're okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get treatment, and nobody's gonna judge me. That's, that's our goal mm-hmm. someday to have it to be, you know, that. But that's what I, I want to kind of leave your, your people, your listeners with. You know, as they mm-hmm. as they lo- as they log into the show. Yeah, that's right, and and yeah, that's right, and just get some help. That's what I always say on all my shows. You know, just get some help. You know, reach out, find some trustworthy people. You know, and get some help because I mean, I suffered on for years and years and years, and never never dealt with it you know and it's like what a horrible situation i just wouldn't wish that on anybody and i just i wish i would have reached out earlier <laughs> you know what i mean yeah we've got about a minute left well, but um i know that uh, you're having a there's a and if anybody's in the area in uh, corona california there you're having that uh it's a the ma holiday party annual nonprofit fundraiser event saturday the 5th mm-hmm. and that's taking place so if anybody's in the corona california area there be sure, and, and that's on the website as well. You can grab that info on the website there. And um, yeah. I hope that goes really well for you. I hope that's great. And I'll be okay. I'll be uh, passing the word. I'll just continue to share the info and as much as I can and keep to keep uh, my side going. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> well, I thank appreciate you, so much, you taking the time to do a show and, and having well, me on tonight. Been great. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, this has been so nice. Well, it's been such a pleasure to talk to you. I've been kind of a fan for many years. And actually... I just I didn't realize that I, I I'm serious I was like oh my god um, <laughs> some of the songs I hadn't heard and I went back and listened to them and you have such a beautiful voice and you're just you're such a beautiful person and I I love the work you're doing and I and I love it because you're not afraid to speak the truth you're not afraid to speak what you what what you feel needs to be said and more power to you you know what I mean so I just wish you all the best and I hope that uh, everything goes well and best wishes for help for guys. Thank you, Lori. Thank you for having me. Good luck Thanks with your nonprofit. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you have a great night. You too. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Okay. And uh, 
be sure and check out the website, helpforguys.org. That's help with the number four. H-E-L-P, number four, helpforguys.org. And Barbara Ochoa, what an awesome lady. Be sure and check out her information. Also, you know, you can Google Petra Luna, P-E-T-R-A, Petra Luna, listen to her music. Um, Just get on board, support her organization, and make a difference. You know, if you know someone who's who's been in a situation, a a male survivor of abuse, you know, don't, don't shun them. Be, help them out, speak to them, and help help them to find resources, you know, because many times they are suffering on their own, and many times, uh, you know, all survivors, you know, men or women can be in the same situation, you know. Make sure that you reach out and help the people, you know, if you can, help them to get resources, help them to find help, right? If you're not a, a survivor yourself and you're just, a, you know, somebody who's been abused, right, or who's in a domestic violence situation or whatever, you know, do what you can to help that person, right? And, you know, thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, God bless you all. Have a great night. You too. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.